What do you do when you are with a teacher that you like, yet there needs to be an adjustment of attitude, not from you, but from your teacher? In this video, we're going to discuss how to address that. It comes from a comment from Kitty Lish 18. I like my cello teacher very much, but she likes to talk a lot in my classes, which are only 30 minutes long. What can I do to get her to move along without being disrespectful to her as a teacher? So when you have a teacher that talks too much, my best tip to you is don't talk. Put your cello out and then discuss the pleasantries. But when that end pin is out, that bow is in hand, well, not this bow, that should be an automatic signal to your teacher to shut up and start teaching. Now, not everybody is versed in the art of providing customer service. You can definitely learn pedagogy and learning how to teach, but this as a private studio, whether it's online or in person, is a service and you are a paying customer. There is by no means you should sit there and allow the minutes to tick away because every single minute that you are there in the studio is a minute you paid for. And it's your right to tell them they talk too much. I live in France, hence my mother tongue is not French. My pedagogy definitely changed. I used to be a talker. And then I realized that if I'm going to provide a proper service to my students, I needed to be absolutely disciplined with the time that they were spending with me. For instance, when I quote a new student, I don't quote them by the hour. I quote them by the minute. And for every single minute that you have with me, I'm going to maximize those minutes, those seconds. Hence, if you think of it more as in minutes instead of half hours and hours, you will put more pressure upon your teacher to deliver you a proper service for every single minute. Here's another subtle hint you can give to your teacher. When you walk in and you have tuned, put your cell phone on the stand and start the time. It, believe me, it's not going to be if you are half an hour, you're not going to get a full half hour. So give it 25 minutes. Start your 25 minute clock the moment you are freshly tuned. That's why you should tune before lessons to save you that time. And just keep it out in the open. And here's something a proper teacher will do. When they see that, they'll immediately click into work mode and start teaching you and maximizing every single minute and second you are in front of them. You're not paying for stories. You're not paying to have pleasantries. You can do that for free before and after lesson. You're paying to have cello music taught to you. Thank you for watching my video today and I hope it helps you find a way to improve the service you are receiving from your private lesson teacher. If you learned something, leave a like, consider subscribing, please, because I do this all the time. Maybe if you have a struggle and you just don't want to talk about this with your teacher, share this video with that private lesson teacher that just talks too much. And I'm going to stop talking right now because I think you and I have definitely learned enough. I have to thank you once again for stopping by and spending a little bit of time with me and the other subscribers here on the Cello Coach channel.